Hello, friends. Now let's solve the missing ranges question. Let's see the statement first. Given a sorted integer array numbers, where the range of elements are in the inclusive range up lower, return is missing ranges. Let's first see the example. The input is numbers 0, 1, 3, 50, 75. Lower is 0, up is 99. So the output is 2. Uh, start from 2. Why? Because the lower is 0, but we already include 0 in the numbers, so we skip it. Then the next uh, integer should be 1. Uh, there is no missing integer between 0 and 1, so we continue. And then, what the next integer after 1? It should be 2, but uh, we are 3, so we miss a 2. Because this, this is only one integer, so we just add this 2 to our result list. And then this is 3, this is 50, so uh, they missed uh, the integer from 4 to the 49. So we use uh, this pattern to, um, to return the scope. And uh, the same idea. The range missing between 50 and 75 is 51 to the 75. And next thing, uh, and the next range should be from the 76 to the 99, because the 99 should be include, included. So what's the difficulties of this problem? I think there are three difficulties. The so first is basically the lower and upper can overflow. Which means if you use lower plus 1, lower minus 1, or upper plus 1, it will return an invalid number. So we should at first convert this integer to long type. And the other thing is the numbers can be empty. So you cannot just get numbers, numbers dot length minus 1. It will be an error. And the, the next, the final thing is that the lower and upper are included. But the integer between them, uh, which like the 3 to the 50, the, they are excluded, which means we only need to choose from the 4 and the 49. So based on these three ideas, we can write our program. First, we convert the lower to long so we first convert the and this is long this will be upper and we need our result list result new array list okay and we get the size of the numbers one thing is if the n equal to zero we just uh, call our Mm, I, I will write the add function afterwards. So we will call this add function. And uh, it is obvious that we will pass the result and the low and the up. But we will fill them afterwards. So just return this result. OK, let, let's now consider how to implement this add function. First, we need the parameter that is the result. and uh, it is obvious that we need uh, two, two long. The first is the start point, and the, the second is the end point, right? So it will be the low, it will be the high. And I said it is exclusive between. Uh, only the first lower and the upper are different. So uh, if the low equal to the high, we just return because there, there are no missing integer between them. Another situation is like uh, this situation. This low plus 1 equal to the high. There is uh, the same, no the missing integer, so we just return. Another special situation is low plus 1 equal to the high minus 1. Like uh, 1 plus 1 equal to 3 minus, uh, minus 1. So we missed uh, only one integer. We just need to add uh, the only integer that will be low plus one. 
and uh, the common situation is this is a uh, scope right so we use a string builder to write uh, this pattern string builder first uh, we should append the uh, low plus one like uh, the three plus one equal to four because it's exclusive so we will use append the string value of the sorry typo so low plus one and we will SB a, a append the arrow append the, append the arrow and then SB will append the, finally will append the, the string value of the high minus one is also the exclusive so finally we just return as uh, we add the string builder to our result so that should be sb2 string okay we finish this function so when the size is n because the low and the high is inclusive so we just uh, let the size uh, uh, be larger which means we move the low minus one the upper plus one then we can conclude the low and the upper if not the situation we just do a common see that result low minus one and the number the first item which is zero then we just iterate the uh, array that will be n i plus plus we just uh, add the result so there will be numbers i minus one and the numbers i Finally, we just add the uh, last element and the upper plus one, the same, because they are inclusive. Finally, just return this result. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.